like an old hardware sampler, the finger sample players have multiple modes, besides just loop forward. There's also the loop forward and backward effects, which cycle the loop forward and backward in direction, and loop backward, which simply plays the loop in reverse. These modes are wonderful for breaks, effects, and just making things sound cool. Why don't we check these out now? I'll assign a loop forward and backward effect. Now, so we get a full loop, I'll move the loop point up all the way. Now let's give it a listen. If you listen, it doesn't sound any different from loop forward. Well, this is where the speed knob comes in. Hear that? Forward and back. I really like this loop mode for setting up a nice fill. When you hit the key, everything sounds normal, then suddenly everything's in reverse. Let's try out the backward loop mode. I'll set this effect on E1. And raise the loop point. Again, you have to raise the speed past the middle of the way for you to hear the reverse effect. It's a quick, clean reversal effect. Imagine this for beats, vocals, cymbals. Okay, in the next tutorial, let's have a look at another function of the finger that you'll want to know about, especially when transitioning through effects on the fly.